So welcome back everybody to Web Gaming Central and uh, yes we've made it back to our Let's Play series of Civilization 5 and for the next four days I believe it is, I'm sorry, three days we'll be exploring um, this game a little more. Now we, as you guys well know, are well into this particular Let's Play. Uh, there will be another one after this, so uh, definitely get ready for that. But um, we need to make sure we can still pull a victory out in this one, and uh, I'm definitely going to try that. So let's let these textures come on in. There you go. Right now, guys, we are threatening war because our spy, which, by the way, I need to place him back in uh, Mecca, if I could. Why can't I go there anymore? Yeah, I know that. I guess I can't go there anymore. Let me see. Oh, right, because I'm still there. Uh, I can't tell. Let's, uh... Where is he at? He's in Mecca still. Right, right. Stay in Mecca. Don't go anywhere. I didn't move him. Right, okay, I thought I moved him. Right, he's still in Mecca. I'm gonna leave him right there because Mecca... Wow, these guys are just loaded. Load it! Ouch! Anyway, whoa! You know what? I do have, uh, don't tell me. Well, yeah, I have nothing going on there. Uh, here, okay, yeah, we have, um, them work in the university. And that is because... No, that's, uh... And I did read the comments, but you know what? I need to go look really fast at the comments because I want to make sure. Hold on one second, guys. Hang on to your horses. Um, don't let them go. Let's see here. Because I know I have it set to... No, 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 no. Good. I have it set to automatic. But this is one way I can control the production of uh, things. And I really never, throughout this whole Let's Play for the most part, I really never went into detail on this part. And this is really where you can work uh, and kind of focus your cities on things that you, you know, really want your, you know, yourself, your nation or your civilization to, you know, push towards. So yeah, we're going to get a little more, a lot more streamlined, actually, once... Uh, the next let's play begins for this from the beginning of course we're gonna do our best now here but um uh, yeah as it stands right now we definitely want to uh, I want to let you guys know that that's the plan okay so I'm looking at the, the comments here okay okay yes 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 <laughs> Somebody said, choose the Arabians next time. It's obviously they are superb conquerors, and that is indeed true. They are. I think the next one I'm actually still undecided on, but I want you guys to, um, I really would like you guys to start voting. What I'm going to do is place on my new on my new website, uh, which I'll try my best to not forget to link to this video. I'm going to um, post the link so you guys can get to the website and actually vote for which civilization you would like for me to play next. I'm going to create a poll for that, so... Um, definitely looking to do that. But one of the suggestions here was to um, pretty much uh, try to focus on building castles. Uh, working toward planes. Of course, yeah, that is my plan. I'm going to work toward planes without a doubt. Um, somebody said play as Russia. Uh, right, and this was an interesting uh, comment by Bobby FC. Um, for your next Civ, focus on money. Or for your next Civ, civilization that is. Focus on money. That way you can buy all the buildings. Usually when I play, I'd be making about 600 to 900 gold by the 1900s. That's incredible. That That's incredible. I'm still at 14. That's ridiculous then. If, if what you made was the goal or was the, was the norm, wow, am I severely just in a ridiculous situation here. But... I, I, that was actually what I wanted to focus on, but I really did switch focuses a little bit too much in this Let's Play because I really wanted to um, get reacclimated, so I was testing and trying different things, and I don't know, all over the place. But I'm actually going to definitely try my best to streamline the next one. So, 
that was one comment and I think that was the most ones the, the ones that gave uh, the most suggestions okay right now there's a bunch of other few things but let's get to playing and I'm and that's one thing I want to start doing guys too at the beginning of every video even though I've started to do that a little bit I want to basically address some of the comments so you guys can know that I'm uh, definitely reading them and uh, I uh, am taking them into, into consideration now of course not every suggestion I'm going to take and just run with it I, in fact what I do is just listen to the comments and just try to make the best decision that I think uh, fits the six fits the situation so here we are let's actually start thinking about the next move and right now everything is producing we have things producing our workers are working um, research where are we at five more turns until industrialization which is great we can unlock some things um, yeah we wow yeah I mean at least we're not the worst civilization but we have about three civilizations that uh, have us by the throat here and I will look, you know, at this point, though, let's, let's, let's do that. Let's see what they have to say. So unit maintenance right now is our biggest cost. Um, it says consider deleting any obsolete or unnecessary units. That is not possible because we are really at the brink of war. I believe we are with um, Harun al-Rashid. So I think that's how you pronounce it. The, the first name, I'm not sure if I got that right, but al-Rashid, I'm, I'm almost sure that's correct. Uh... We have additional gems that we can use. This is the foreign advisor for trade, and the Sungai Empire doesn't have any. Is that right? Let's strike that deal then. Lisbon has been captured by the. Earth. If we were to capture the city and liberate it, we would restore the city state of Lisbon, and we would get a tremendous amount of influence over them. Is that right? Oh, see, and I want to do that. I really want to do that. I want to attack. I want to call them the Greens because I, well, let's just call them the civilization that they are, the, the Arabians. I want to attack that civilization because I don't know uh, if waiting for them to just conserve their power is a good idea. Although I think it's already too late for that. I think they're already sitting with enough power to just wish we would attack them. I think that's what he's doing. But he, if you remember from the last video, he's actually planning something against me. And that's, that's the reason why I think he's going to attack soon sooner rather than later I believe so the third one is we should continue to explore in the world right of course yes 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 of course our military advisor yeah yeah okay I'm saying with those two guys okay we research dynamite we can get access to artillery I agree with that Having a modern air military is uh, key to six to uh, safety and effective attacks. I agree. There's buildings that have enhanced our military. Okay, 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 okay. Yes, we do need more military units. So he's advising more military units. So I'm thinking we probably should start, which I've already done, uh, to just really stockpile our, our units. <laughs> stockpile. Stockpile our units so that we'll be ready for anything. Okay, so there we go. Science advisor. He says we're efficient with the science. 189. I'll take his advice. But um, I am eager to. I forget which is the norm as far as the numbers that you want to see of your science. Of course, the higher the better. But at the same time, what's a common or a good number to kind of you know aim for, so to speak? But anyway, let's go ahead and get out of these views and let's go ahead now. We have uh, oh. Let's go ahead and move these guys because I'm anticipating an attack. No need to lose units unnecessarily. So let's go ahead and make the next turn, guys. A lot of talking, I know, but um, this is the beginning of the next stretch of videos. And of course, we still have this war going on over here, which is a very interesting one. <laughs> she has aircraft that only one, it seems now. So a few months got shot down. Yeah, that's why they're right because they're more advanced than these units here. Or are they? yes, they are more advanced than these units here. Wow. She entered the atomic era. No way. Ouch. 
she's entered the atomic era. Oh my gosh, she is on a roll. And doing a pretty darn good job protecting her civilization, too. Interesting, 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 interesting. Okay, that's good for her. So, uh, let's uh, just try to do our best to bide our time. We got riflemen now, which is awesome. Um, what do we... We want cannons. We already have cannons, though. Um, scout, no. We're going to actually do the... Or, or, or workshop. Uh, somebody made a comment about that too. Um, really, those are some of the things I should have built from the beginning. And well, that was a comment tied to the guy who said uh, he stocks piles, stockpiles his um, pouch, his um, money, so that he can just buy the buildings because then you can focus your research, and not research, but your production on you know things other things like units instead of buying units other you can buy units you can buy anything with money pretty much except for research but for production you can buy things so you can kind of tag team with the production queue and just purchasing things outright so that's the tactic i'm going to try my best yeah, this guy's very overpowered ouch i think they just got shot down if i'm not mistaken but uh yes so, um, that's the plan, guys, going forward, if I can. Alright. But yeah, she's doing a pretty good job defending herself, without a doubt. Unit needs orders. Okay, yep, you just stay put. I saw those barbarians, didn't really want to waste units. This guy is really all in my territory, and I don't appreciate it, but, you know, we'll punch him in the mouth when we're ready to. I'm not going to upgrade this unit because it's costing us a pretty penny. Um... I do tell you what, though, we need a bank, and one of these cities didn't have one. This one. Alright, so we need to really work on that because we are threatening going into the negative on that front. So, yeah, this one is definitely fun to watch. It's amazing that it's not a fight. Yeah, well, that's why. It's really higher quality units. Oh, he's bringing artillery now. Uh-oh. Man, oh man. And she has that wall, too, which only helps the defense of her entire nation, I believe. Okay, so, there we go. What queue is this? Do we have an option for... No, we already have that. Now, what does this do? see um, hmm. choices 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 I think we'll go with the seaport I think that helps uh, but let me actually do some management here because we're working the university for the points but I think we need to uh, switch that to that so now we get a boost up to 12 which is good Let's jump to another city. We have a market, and that would give us a boost, too, so we're not working the market. Which means we can probably buy a bank here, but we don't have the money to at the moment. So, I'm going to leave that there, because we're at 219. Now, you know what? I, I'm going to do one thing real fast, though. i do that. Yeah, that just bumps up our, um... Well, I can actually do one, and, well, starvation. So, let's not... Yeah, I won't do that, then. I'll leave it at the bank. We don't want them to starve. Here though, can I get away with um Yes, I can get away with that. See it takes away your food or it uses food when you start to focus your people like this. Or your specialist, I should say, like this. So now we get the keep a boost in our res our research and now because we put one in the market, we get a boost in the gold coinage now see these are things I should have been doing all along to be quite honest with you but of course and that's because I have great people here so I have three tokens I can use down here if I'm not mistaken that's how that works I could be you know terribly wrong but I believe I'm right we have uh, same thing going here let me see if I can put one in the bank without starving stagnation don't want stagnation so I'll just leave one here 
All right, and then maybe we'll put one in there later so we avoid stagnation. This city is new, so we don't really have um, much to do there. Here, we don't have any specialists, so really won't be doing any of that. I don't think. Well, I guess you still can kind of focus it, but really with there. Yeah, see, anything I do is going to take me into um, decline or starvation, which uh, is not a good thing. You don't want to ever have that situation if you can control it. This one I really can't help. It's the only option we have, so we're going to leave it at that. Though they are stagnated, though, as you can see, food production is at locked at zero. Here we can actually focus on the market, I believe gives us a boost excellent so that's what I'm going to do cool 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 now here do we have a focus yes that's the one I did first I believe here yeah this is the actually that's the one I did first okay so there we go so we're, we're at a good solid uh, spot now and again should have been doing that all along Egyptian privateer awesome Awesome. Privateer. So now we have a privateer. And, uh, shall we? Huh. So, guys, uh, you know, forgive me for that. I'll be honest with you. I want to throw that in there because there's so much more to this game, you know, if we really just want to be very meticulous. But that's why I actually, maybe I, I'm apologizing too quickly. But in the beginning, I did forewarn you guys that I was going to be reacclimating myself. But I believe I'm more than ready now just to kind of really do this right. So the next let's play, guys, um, I'm looking forward to that. I hope you are doing the same because I'm going to actually do it much more efficiently than I did it this time. But we're going to actually still, let's stop talking about the next episode or the next let's play. Let's focus on winning this one. Uh, with what we know now and what we can do now so let's do that we did a few things to get our production where it needs to be let's go ahead and uh, turn it to the next turn turn it to the next turn that, that's a great phrase <laughs> so back to the war over here but it's not even really phasing these guys yeah, they, they're shooting a lot though they're hammering those guys hammering them He, oh, you've got to be kidding me. Ah, this guy's going to get nuked soon, I bet you. Once he gets that, man, we... Oh. Not cool. <laughs> At all. We're going to need defenses. Okay. Industrialization yes. based on machinery. Already referred to... Golden Age has dawned. Great. We have, we're in a Golden Age, and that's always a good thing. And when you're in a golden age, everything in your, every tile in your empire that produces at least one gold produces one extra. As you can see, we're making 68 gold right now, guys. That's incredible. Gold produces one. Cities gain plus 20 production and empire-wide culture is increased by 20%. That, my friends, is exactly the kind of situation we want. But, uh... Yeah, so we, great news, we actually have coal, so we need to we need to work that tile. Let's uh, bring some of our guys over here to work it. What tile are they working? Bananas. They're just working plain, so let's bring those guys right over here so that they can work that, and they'll become available. Where's the other one? Over here, don't we have some workers close by? No, but we shall buy some. Shall we? Or do we have enough? No, for 20. Just shy. Maybe we'll buy some in the next turn. But anyway, let's go ahead and uh, get rid of those. So now we have coal that we can produce in our city. Architecture that will unlock Taj Mahal, Porcelain Tower, um, Hermitage. But you know, I'm going to actually uh, forego that. Let's open up the technology tree. What do we... Oh, that's all we have available. If I do architect here, yeah, that's the only two. Interesting enough. Interesting enough. Man. You know what? Let's just knock this one out then. So we can enter the modern era, for heaven's sakes. Uh, 
Whew, they're already here. And see, now they're working on... Oh, man. Jeez. See, now they'll be able to build, build atomic bombs. That we can't let happen. We need defenses. Um, uh, which one is the defense? I don't think you get that in the modern era. Well, maybe you do. No, you really don't. But that guy probably has submarines and everything going. It's ridiculous. Alright, so... I think that is... Yeah. Atomic bomb. See, that allows him to... Right, they can... Right, and nuclear missiles. Nuclear, nuclear plant. All these things. So, yeah, we really have to be careful here. We got Marines. Yikes. Um, Sydney Opera House. Uh, nuclear plant. I'm just trying to see because I know there's a defensive weapon, isn't there? To the, the the missile. I think there's a defense for that or against that. I could have swore there was. Okay. Anyway. Let's just go ahead and uh, go with what we have the option to choose. Okay, so we've uh, built that. Let's uh, start. Uh, no, 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 no. Forge. You see how these things that really help our, our production and so seven. We'll do the forge. So guys, let's just hope we don't get. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, let's renew the deal. Uh -huh. Um, yeah, and I hope he sticks to that because I don't know when this other guy is gonna attack, but it's it's gonna be an Oh, I see what he's doing. I forgot he was in war with this Russian. Um, so if the tables turn on this guy, I bet you he's gonna expect me to come help him. And um, I'm sorry, but Catherine is uh. A little bit uh, potent over there. I don't really want to. Uh oh. Как тебе понравится, если я предложу? Yes, I like the deal too. Excellent. Let's go for it. I am on board. Sign me up. Sign me up. Oh, interesting. Another war down here. Oh, they just great scientists on board. Yes, we have a great scientist. Excellent. Now, what can he do? Yes! Architecture so begins. Nice. I'd rather have done that. Okay, now what can we unlock here? Public schools. Yeah, let's go with scientific theory. Alright, I am all for that. Okay, they're at war. Hong Kong. Okay. Yeah. Ram. Pyrams is. Okay. One follower. Cool. Excellent, guys. Excellent. Oh, did these guys get down here yet? No, they have not. They'll get there. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, great son. Ah, oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Great person. Yeah, we figured that out. Yes. Awesome. Okay, so we're in good shape here. Great shape, to be honest. Let's uh, keep it on going. I think we... I've yet to get these guys down here. I need those guys right over here. Yes, way to quick travel, guys. Way to quick travel. All right, so ooh, the faster we get this thing going, the better. We need to defend ourselves. I don't know why I'm just anticipating this guy to attack us, but hoping he holds off a tad bit longer. If he was smart, he would attack me now because all my allies are in war together. Against each other. Better yet, right? So, a pretty good amount of gold. Ooh, finally got rid of that unit. Interesting. She fought very violently. Till now, but I'm sure that, that uh, city is gonna just mop the floor with those three guys as I speak. <laughs> yeah. There's a bomb in your face. Okay, um, 
Alma tea seeks investors. Incense connected from Manila. All of some sauce. Declaration of friendship with Russia. Let's fix that. Здравствуй. Friendship. 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 Продолжай. Yes. Yes. You're great. Okay. Anyway. Now it's two. Excellent. Grow. 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 Cool. 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 Uh, let's check on our spies because I really want him to do this again to them. Really stuck it to those guys, which is great. Gives me a free research, which is awesome. Uh, do we not know how to improve this tile? Which is interesting to me because you would think we would. Yes, there it is. Duh, construct a mine. Yes, that's what I want. Hello. Yes, we want to work the coal mine. Give us some loot. Anyway, or a trade option. Well, he's into the atomic era too. Excellent. Everybody's atomically uh, gifted. You know what, dude? I am going to refuse because I don't like you. Because you take over everybody. You make everybody's land belong to you. Don't like you. For that reason alone. Used to be cool. Looks like a cool guy. But man, is he just curb stomping everybody in his way. Yeah. Oh. He doesn't like me. Oh, who cares about these guys over here? I don't. So every deal I had with him is ended. I'm perfectly cool with that. He probably doesn't need my stuff anyway, so hey. Who cares? Let us. Four turns there. Four turns until that is completed. Seven, nine, eleven, twenty, twenty-four. Alright. Let's uh, just keep it moving. Let's keep the ship moving. Ship. SHIP. For all those who have sensitive ears. I have a clean channel, so I don't. Ooh, must be a reason you want that, dude. And see, I have a feeling if I don't give him this, he's going to say, well, I don't like the inconvenience. So since he's not asking for more, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do this. Because to me, I mean, having a few of his guys running around in here isn't going to make a huge difference. But at the same time, I don't know, you know. Uh, snoop around and things in my uh, territory. Don't want him to think he can do whatever he wants. Uh oh, did I just hit next turn? Crap, Zola. Shoot. Didn't mean to do that. I to evaluate the situation first, but I did not. Oh, are they attacking already? Did I miss him? Yes, I did. He's already surrounding the city. Yikes, is he really? This guy. Why do you know he came from this side? Because they're being bombarded, but by what? Yes, by those. That explains it. Alright. Okay, well. Wow, I, she must be out of units, which is interesting. You know, for these guys to be so far advanced, they don't take advantage of it enough, in my opinion. But hey, that's just me. That's just me. So two more turns for that. Everything uh, seems good. Let's go ahead and jump it to the next turn. Um, they're working on that tile. How many more turns, actually, until they complete it? Oh, look who showed up at my border. Yikes, Russian Cossack. Hey, they might need to upgrade the horses, I don't know, man. <laughs> Nuclear missiles, horses, I don't know, you know. You tell me. 
Um, any upgrades available for these? <clears throat> See, now they're amassing at my borders. I don't like it one bit. And they, oh, they got the good soldiers. Wow, we're still stuck with riflemen. That's not even cool. We didn't even really upgrade until to the, uh, oh my goodness. That's not cool. We, we're stuck in that stone ages. Oh, I tell you what. All right, let's uh, let's just keep it moving. I don't know what this guy has planned, but he has something planned, and I don't like it. Our units are severely outpowered. I mean, we have units probably enough to, you know, look him in the eye and say, you know, bring it. But, you know, once we say bring it, you know, that's about as, as potent as our uh, weaponry will be. Just like a few words aimed at, uh, you know, well... Something was about to happen there. I, I didn't know. And I, they made peace. Okay. We do need a workshop. Yes, because production increases, which is always a good thing. Yeah, the city doesn't have. Well, maybe it does. I just didn't know. You know what? I think I will. I'll do the um, well, workshop, actually, will improve our production capabilities. Um. Do we have another one? Yes, we do, in fact. And Gatling gun. I guess that would help a few things. But uh, it would take a few dollars away from us, too. But, you know, at the moment we're working with a full... Well, let's go for that workshop, actually. That Production, production, production. Right now, I'm thinking production. Yes, I am definitely thinking production. Okay. Oh. Oh. oh, it has begun, people. He has declared war on me. It has begun. He is definitely superior at the moment. So that definitely means that he sinks my ship. That's the first move he makes. Okay, fair enough. We, um, yikes. Well, yes, indeed. It, 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 it just got pretty real here. Um, so, moment of truth, guys. We, can we defend ourselves as we have before? I do believe this is a different situation, but I tell you what, I am a soldier, so I will fight to the very last drop. Major defeat. Yeah, I'm sure these guys probably gonna be tickling these guys here. Um, let's go for it. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that was that was one-sided there. Indeed, it was. Well, it's, it's better than nothing. Hey, I tell you that. Oh yeah, let's set up shop. Can we uh, get a range attack over there? Thank you. Wow, it tickled them. Okay, hey, you know. Yeah, yeah we're not even going to scratch these guys. Okay. So, what else can I do other than look at this guy as if he's... You know, maybe, just maybe. You know, guys, you know, let me reconsider that. <laughs> that's just... <laughs> that's just not quite the greatest idea. All right, guys, it's time to start uh, buying some units and upgrading some. Uh, can you guys move? I guess not. That's no. Those guys to move. Let's go here and purchase. Um, You know... These guys are not really going to help a lot right now, but we can do... See, that Gatling gun would be really nice right about now. Okay, anyway, let's uh, just, uh, at the moment, let's just try our best to survive here. Yeah, you guys are going to have to upgrade. Without a doubt. We're going to have to bring all of our guys down for some uh, action here, because I am sure... It will be exceptionally interesting. Can we pull 
some allies here. Yeah, best of luck. Okay. Okay. You must decline. I guess I did that to him too, right? Yeah, what are you gonna say? What are you gonna Alright, let's see if that will help at least. Let's go ahead and ask her as well. Best of luck. <laughs> you guys are really backing out on me in my time of need. I thought we had a defense attack. Yeah, well, I thought we had that. That's why he attacked. Those things must not have been... Uh, established. Yikes. Anyway, I guess the best we're gonna do is uh, just do the best we can oh. here. Nice, he's denounced them. I like it. Alright, so what are you going to do, guy? Really? Yeah, sure, if I it. It. Only because... I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know. Oh, man. Okay. These bums are going to pay for this. I have nobody down here ready to defend. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my God. This guy has a battleship to my caravel. <laughs> that is awesome. Oh my goodness! I I brought a bat to a gunfight. This is excellent. <laughs> Let's throw some rocks at this guy. You know these ships are made of metal and probably aluminum and all the types of hardened metals, and we're throwing rocks. <laughs> oh my goodness! This is great. You know, for my own dignity, I'm not going to. Uh... I mean, we gotta upgrade here. Actually, what's this? Yeah. Okay. Cool. We did get an upgrade. Uh, going defense. Well, maybe not the defense. Uh, you know, you always have to give it a shot. There's nothing he can do from that front. So let's go ahead and go on defense. Um, yeah. Yeah, how about... I don't know. You know what, guys? Ooh. Yeah, this won't be fun. You know what? Let's just go in defense. I'm not going to. Uh, these guys get a promotion. Yeah, we're fairly a rough terrain. So let's go ahead and uh, put a pounding on these guys. Oh, yes. Hey, this is. That's ugly, too. You know, we have to? Yes, whatever. We gotta fight. We can't just cower out. Yeah, well, cowering out sometimes works. You know, hey. No need to, you know, be all mean about it, dude. How far can you reach? <laughs> Apparently not far enough. Okay, guys, we have definitely been outgunned here. Um, right, you know, uh, you know, let's uh, just go forego that and uh, try our best to. Just do what we can. Oh, great. And that's not even going to work. Yeah, whatever. Alright, so, guys. I'm going to end the video here. We're going to come back in the next one and uh, see how long we can last. You know? See if we can fill another 30 minute video. And if we can, that's awesome. If we can't, you know, at least we know we can start another civilization and uh, do better next time. <laughs> this is interesting. So... Here we are, guys. The battle that I've been anticipating for quite a while. It has begun. And just as I also foresaw, um, we look like, you know, the cleaning solution. And there's a dirty floor somewhere that um, 
<laughs> Haruna Arashid um, <laughs> intends to clean. So, <laughs> so yeah. Um, <clears throat> right, we're the cleaning solution. <laughs> That really tickles me. Um, anyway, we're the cleaning solution. He is the janitor. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That is excellent. Okay, okay. Like I mentioned in one of my other videos. Or the SimCity video, Sim City video I made today. The uh, motor oil, which is the coffee I drank today, has started to wear off. So, Sidonis has entered... But if I can say this without laughing, I will be happy. We are the cleaning solution. Harun Rashid is the janitor. There is a dirty floor. <laughs> there is a dirty floor somewhere that needs cleaning. Guys, we are about to be wiped and mopped across the floor like, you know, nothing ever seen before so guys stay tuned if you want to see an epic beatdown <laughs> take place but um i'm anticipating that this war will not last very long but anyway stay tuned guys come back for the next video and if the best news about all this is that we're going to start a new civilization but you know i am a person that finishes i finish i will finish even if that means you know, being mopped up across the floor. I, that's okay. At least we finished. So, guys, please stay tuned. I'll see you all in the next video, and I promise to have an extra cup of coffee. Okay? So, guys, I'll see you. Have a good day, and I am signing off.